In this video, I'm going to show you how to put cinematic bars into Final Cut the right way and how you can do a cool animated cinematic bar opener. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you love Final Cut Pro 10, consider subscribing to the channel because we've got a ton of playlists all about Final Cut. Now, I'm going to jump into the Mac and show you how this is done, but make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'll also show you how you can do a cool animated black bar intro for your videos. Okay, so we've jumped into Final Cut Pro 10, and as you can see, I've chucked in a couple of clips here, and these are from our Sony ZV-1 review. So if you want to see uh, a review of that great little vlogging camera, we'll put a link in the description or up in the top right corner. Now, it's really actually very, very simple to add a letterbox to Final Cut Pro 10 footage. All you do is go to the effects panel and type in the word letterbox. Don't type in black bars. A lot of people think it's missing because they are typing in black bars and it's actually down under letterbox. Then all you do is simply drag it on top of your clip and you can see already it's added some short black bars in here at the top. Now you can change the aspect ratio here. So if we change this, uh, you can, it will put a really large one on and you can see that's a little bit too big. The most common one is this 2.35 by one and you can see it's added some really nice cinematic black bars. So you can then of course copy and paste this onto other clips or if you're working with changing aspect ratios, and we talked about that in another video, you can add this to a second clip, and let's just say you wanna add a much bigger bar. This happens in films like uh, Marvel films. Sometimes when they go into an action sequence, they'll use much uh, thicker, larger borders to really pull you into the action. So if we play that through now, you can see we've got a changing sequence. And essentially that's how easy it is to add black bars into Final Cut. But uh, if you want to add these across multiple clips, what you can also do is add an adjustment layer to your timeline. Drag that on top there. We got this one uh, for free from Color Grading Central. And what you could do is drag that over these two clips here, for example, drag the letterbox onto here. And then you can see if we just quickly add uh, a letterbox, I'll do it quite big so you can see it. And um, you can see as this plays, We've only put it on that one clip, but it affects everything in the timeline. Now, what happens if you've got a clip and you're finding that you didn't really think about the framing as you were filming? So if I do this clip here, and then let's do this at 255, you can see if I play this through, the car is completely clipped out, and this is not what we want. So how you can uh, adjust for this, all you need to do is click here to the offset button, and then you can move the entire clip within the bar. So what we're gonna do is just have it so the top of the restaurant door here is, is just under the black bars, and the car here is just in two. And now if we play it through, you can see we've got a much better framed shot. But next up, I wanna show you how to do an animated opener. So again, let's close this down. And this is something I get asked about all the time. It looks very, very good. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got this uh, shot here of some swans going down the canal. I'm just going to um, use automatic speed because this was filmed at 180, uh, sorry, 100 frames a second. So as you can see, as I slow it down, it will look much more cinematic for an opening sequence. So all you need to do to do this is the first thing, well actually the first thing you wanna do is go to I and just check the size of your footage because you're gonna to need to divide this number here, the 1080 by two so we can get this accurate. So what I mean, let me show you how we do this. If we go to the start of the clip, uh, we're gonna use the crop tool to do this. So we're gonna type in 540 at the top and 540 at the bottom because that's exactly half of 1080. I'm gonna hit enter on that. And as you can see, as we play through, it's covered up the shot completely. Now, what you'll wanna do, of course, when you get to say a point like this, you'll want the clips to open. So the first thing you need to do is just add a keyframe for here. And then we're gonna move the cursor or the, sorry, the timeline across a bit to about here and then we are going to add some new keyframes and then we're gonna take these all the way off. So now if we play through this footage, you have your lovely cinematic opening. 
Now, of course, one issue you'll see here is that the black bars have gone all together. So what you want to do, if you want to keep the black bars in, just go to that first and second keyframe. So this is okay because this is completely off. Let's go to the second keyframe. And then let's just maybe take these down a bit to say 100 on each end. And then if we play through, you'll see that you have some cinematic black bars that stay on the footage even after the animation has stopped. There we go, and that looks pretty cool. So there we go, it's actually quite easy, isn't it? And I see loads of videos of people saying download PNGs and JPEGs to put into your Final Cut projects, and it's absolutely the wrong way. So I hope this has helped you, and if it has, leave me a comment below, or if there's anything you wanna learn in Final Cut Pro 10, let me know, and we'll try and do a video on it very soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.